today I'm going to show you how to batch edit a bunch of photos at once to load your web page uh, quickly. Um, as you can see here with this photo here, it's 300 KB, which is a little big for a website. We want to get this small. So we're going to batch edit all these photos. There's 25 photos here. And we're going to save them all for a WebP file. Um, so what you want to do first, you come into Photoshop, you open your one photo. Um, then you come into the plus icon here in actions, the little arrow there. And we're going to create a new action, record this. We're going to call this 25 photos, one, and we click record. Now it's recording our actions right now, what we're doing. We're going to come in here and, uh, on a Mac, you hold option command S, which then allows you to save this. We're going to save it as a W E B P file, WebP file, click save. We're going to do it at 50% quality. And there you create your first action. We're going to stop it. Now we have our action created. So now to create a batch edit for all these 25 photos, we come back into Photoshop, go to file, go to automate, batch. We're going to find that action we just saved and stop right there, 25 photos one. We then choose the folder that we want to grab all the photos. Here's our 25 photos. We choose that. Then you come over to the destination where you want them to save. We already saved this here. Label the folder here. It's going to go into the webp.50 folder. Choose that. Um, you can override this action if you want to create different uh, image names for all these here. We're going to leave the same name, so we're just going to click OK. Now it's going to run that and batch edit 25 photos for us. Um, you can see them coming in here on the right hand side. Once they are done, we will look at the photos and you can see, oh, it looks like we renamed them. Okay, so we look at these photos here. This photo right here, number 10, is now down to 16 KB, where it's 300 K, 308 there. So putting these all into a web page is going to load the website a lot faster, which is going to help you with SEO. It's going to be better user experience. So this is why you want to do this, and this could save you a lot of time. Um, if you have a bunch of photos, you need to do it once. And that's it. Like this video if you want me to show more videos like this. Thank you.